I don't need bail money yet, but stand by. Stand down and stand by. Ain't that, ain't that what you're supposed to say? Something like that. Pink like the sheets that we lay on. Pink, it's my favorite crayon. That's right. Even in mainland China, we're being shared all over the place. Thank you, Atsuko. Our only Chicom fan. Our only Chicom fan. That's special, Itsuko. Never give that up. She yelled Mitsubishi at me earlier. I don't even I didn't even know what she said. Does Kim Jong Un know you're here? Un. Kim Jong Un. So I probably. I don't know how much I should admit to. I may or may not have bought some stolen goods. Same, same. It's okay. Same, same. This is bigger than ourselves. We won't let the world burn away. Burn away. We feel yeah. So, it seems like when I do a show that Phil agrees with, he shares it and his followers show up. Which some of them, I've had some of them in the comments say, look, I don't agree with you, but I watch the ones I like and the ones I don't like, I don't watch. I, I don't care if people are laughing. I don't if they're Phil followers or whoever. I just like to make people laugh. But I can't. My conscience can't let them sit in the chat and lie. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to come in here and lie about Bree, especially. I think she's had a tough life. If I buy stolen property and I don't know that it's stolen, is that okay?
Pol Pot. That's uh, that's the guy from Cambodia, right? Or uh, Laos. Where's he from? <laughs> Bug dude. I'm not saying I know. And maybe I don't even know. I just got a really good deal on something I've wanted to buy for a long time. But it's always been way too expensive. So... I'm not saying it's stolen. I have no idea. All I know is I got a really, really good deal from a guy who really likes meth. Hey, Danny's. It's me, the Linda Binda from TikTok. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to thank you for watching Cold Beer Confessionals with Will Bird. I think that's just incredible. I've watched a few episodes and I'm just like very intrigued. But you know what I'm most intrigued in? Ryan. Is... <laughs> Big Daddy's meat stick. I heard that it's very oh, thick, like a good old German sausage. Um, you know, Linda and her coochie loves that. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Let's not go there. Anyways, um, I hope you have a good show and enjoy it as you can. There's a lot of weird things that go on, especially when it comes from the realm of Linda Bindeland. So um, enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. I'm Will Bird. This is the Cold Beer Confessional. Thank you for joining us. I did a thing. Um, no bail money needed currently. Uh, but don't get too excited. <laughs> okay, don't get too excited. So, if you've been watching the show for a while and you hear, like I say, weird random stuff and get off topic all the time. Uh, I've been, for a long time, I've been wanting to build a project, One Wheel. Uh, if you don't know what a one wheel is, it's kind of like a skateboard and a unicycle had a kid. Uh, it's it's like a balance board that has one bit. I'll just show you. <laughs> I'll just show you. Um, I wanted to build one for two reasons. One, I think it'd be a really cool project. And two, um, I think it would be, um, I think it'd be really, uh, first, one, it'd be a really cool project. Two, um, it is. This I think is it would be Kyle. cheaper. He invented one wheel to destroy. So that's the one wheel. Boredom. Turns out he wasn't alone. It's magic. Where it's got kind of just like a go kart wheel on it. It'll go over like gravel and through trails and woods. You can even hop curbs with it. Nope, it's science. We put a motor in the wheel, added lithium batteries, and programmed the board to balance for you. Now that balance for you is a little <laughs> is a little weird. I've already had. Uh, a little bit of a mishap on it. Um, got some got some road rash, but it's I mean it's pretty cool, right? Um, I got my I got my thumb chewed up pretty good, uh, just only down to the bone. It did not go one millimeter past the bone. As soon as it hit bone, it stopped, which was pretty cool. We've got pint for cruisers, XR for shredders, but nothing for this guy. And oh yeah, we build them in the U.S. of A. And Liam wants one too, but I was, I mean, they were super expensive, right? I, and I'm, I'm afraid to invest it because what if Liam never learns how to ride it? What if he doesn't enjoy riding it? What if he doesn't like it? Because it's, it uses muscles. Like I've, wrote, I've messed with it all day. It uses muscles that you don't really think about unless you like ride a skateboard, I guess, or a balance board. Like, um, even though my legs are in pretty decent shape, um, it like, um, it's still like they were they were to the point of like shaking after a few hours of riding it. They were so so crazy. So get a one wheel today and help destroy boredom forever. So the cheapest version they have is uh is like a thousand dollars. It's like a thousand dollars. I didn't feel it in my core. Surprisingly, I thought I would because I'm fat and out of shape. It's mostly mostly like it's mostly like down around my ankle into my calf, so like my lower calf, and then on both sides of my knees. Uh, on both sides of my knees, pretty great. This one goes about 20 miles an hour. They have one that goes like 25. Um, but uh, so the cheapest one they have is like $1,000, and it's on sale right now for seven fifty. So if you go to their web with just it, no, and the charger, um, it, no, like, mods or, uh, you know, ex the fast charger's not included. None of that stuff is included. Um, let's go to onewheel.com and I'll show you. 
but it's on sale for seven fifty. Seven fifty is a a big investment for me. Like <laughs> I don't know if it is for the everybody else, but it's usually a thousand and fifty, and it's marked down to seven fifty. Uh, and this is the new version, uh, and it's locked out at 16 miles an hour. Mine, I think mine goes to 20, but they, these are locked down to 16. I've actually got it on a setting right now that just only goes to 12. And I've only hit 12 once. But every once in a while, there's a deal that, like, man, I, I scroll Facebook Marketplace when I'm bored. I'll be listening to an audiobook on uh, Audible. And I scroll Facebook Marketplace when I got a minute and I'm not working or, you know, bored or pooping or something like that. So I found a this guy that had one for sale, um, and it looked pretty rough, <laughs> and he didn't know anything about it. He couldn't ride it. He said he got it on trade, said one of his friends got it to work, and that it was for sale. So I found it, and this is, this is what it looks like. I for some reason, it's got paint spilled on top of it. Um, it looked a little rough, to be honest with you. It is the old X1 version of the pot. They don't even make this version anymore. This is the original pot, which is their small, like, lower model. It's not their fastest one. It's not their biggest one or whatever. Plus, I didn't know I didn't know how strong it would be. I'm, like, I'm close to the upper limits of, like, their, their weight thing, uh, right? And I didn't know how strong it would be. Would it even pull my big ass? <laughs> so this guy had this listed for $500, and I know he had it listed for a while, and I was like, ah, five hundred dollars is still too much. First of all, five hundred dollars is like too much to spend on a toy, is the way I look at it. I hate buying myself something. Second of all, if I'm going to spend five hundred, if I had the five hundred, I would just spend the seven fifty and get a brand new one, right? If I had the five hundred, I would just spend seven fifty and get a brand new one with a warranty and shit, right? When does that make sense? So I, I kept saying no, 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 and then finally. Um, I accidentally hit the, on Facebook, if you don't know when you're scrolling and I looked at it again, I accidentally hit that. Is this st still available? I do this all the time. I'll get return messages like, yeah, you want to look at it? And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And look, and I've accidentally hit that button, <laughs> like stuck it in my pocket or something, hit the button. Is this still available on your phone? It pre-populates that while you're looking at shit and shit that I'm not even interested in. I just clicked on it for some reason, like. 200 igloo coolers, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, what the, I would never buy that. But somehow I hit the, is this still available button? And he messaged me back and he said, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's available. So somebody just said hoverboard for 150 is what my 11 year old granddaughter is crazy about. Listen, if you are going to buy one of these, don't try to get the cheap hoverboards too. You don't you don't want to, yeah, it always scares me. They say you want to look at it. I'm like, I'm like, who's hitting me up for prostitution? But anyways, you don't want to go cheap. And the reason you don't want to go cheap is the expense on these things comes from the battery management system, okay? The battery management system. And if you had a bad, ba you remember like five years ago when all the kids were getting hoverboards and they were catching on fire? That was because, yeah, same thing, Gypsy. That's because the battery management system was bad. It wasn't balancing out the batteries when it was charging. And if all the batteries that are in series are not equally charged, like let's say you got one at like five volts and the other ones are like two, it'll, it'll, it'll even itself out and that produces heat. And if it can't stay even, it just keeps there producing heat, 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 running the battery down if it can't stay balanced. And eventually they catch on fire. So like five years ago, Around that time, everybody was getting these cheap hoverboards for like fifty bucks offline, uh, and they were blow. They were catching on fire and shit. So you got to be cra You got to be scare careful with that shit. So, anyways, I was like, man, I don't know. I, I messaged him, and he he messaged me back. He said, yeah, it's still available. I was thinking about dropping the price today to four hundred, and I said, oh, okay, well. You know, I can't ride one. I wouldn't even know how to test it. He's like, well, my buddy tested it. I was like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll come look at it or something. He's like, well, I'll tell you what. The least I'll take it for, it's 300 So we already went from 500 to 300 This is why I don't know if it's stolen. We already went from 500 to 300 And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I can meet it. I'll at least look at it. So I happened to be at the office at the time, and my nephew came by here and um, was hanging out or whatever. And he brought it by, him and his buddy brought it by, 
and my nephew hopped on it. I hopped on it. We were, we could just barely move. Basically, we would get balanced. The motor turns like you start like a skateboard with like your nose in the air, and then you balance it. And then once you get it balanced, um, that's when the motor kicks in, and it does semi balance you. Um, <laughs> it it's rough. But we were just barely moving while, like, holding onto the wall just to see if it works. And it's got an app where it connects to your phone. So by the time I was done, I got this thing for two. I actually two hundred dollars, but I gave him two fifty because I felt bad. I felt like I was scamming him, right? So I logged onto the app. It's only got two hundred and fifty miles on it. Anything below five hundred miles is considered super low mileage. So I don't know why it looks so bad. But there's no way to put miles on it without logging it on the app. It's really locked down from Future Motion, the company that makes them. So I even checked that up. Like, can somebody reset the miles? Or can they ride it without logging miles? Is there, like, a million miles on it? And I just don't know. No, it has super low miles on it. I don't know if a kid had it or if it was in an avalanche. Or maybe there was a shootout after they stole it. I don't know what happened. But the thing was stupid cheap. And I bought it and rode it for four hours today. Uh, I only cra I crashed twice. My nephew crashed once. Nick, um, what's crazy when you crash? Like we couldn't figure out. Like we could ride it, but we couldn't figure out how to get off of it. So if you imagine the boards balanced like this, if you lean this way, it goes that way, and if you lean that way, it goes that way. So when you're sitting there balanced, how do you get off of it? Because if you, if you, like, go to put the thing down, it maxes out the throttle and just takes the fuck off in that direction. So, like, what I wanted to do, like a skateboard, is, like, when you're riding a skateboard, just, like, kick it up, right? Kick the nose up and stop. Nope, can't do that because that goes full speed the opposite direction. So, every time we wrecked, we were trying to get off of the thing. Like, we could ride it, but every time we, every time we wrecked, we were, we were uh, trying to get off the motherfucking thing. Like, it was crazy. So, finally, I found a mode in it called Soft Stop or something like that, which helped us a lot. But um, what sucks is when you wreck, the few times I wrecked, like, but it's got sensors to see if your feet are still on the pads, and that's how it works. And if you could take your foot off the pad, supposedly it's supposed to turn off almost immediately. So, what you're supposed to do is, like, both your feet are here, like, riding it, Right. You're supposed to lift all the way up on your toe to turn off the sensor and then and then turn it off. That's what the uh, the God says. That's what the YouTube video says or whatever. We could, I couldn't I couldn't bend in that way or something. I don't know. So the few times I wrecked, we're trying to stop. And what's crazy is like it's grippy, like a skateboard, like grip tape. So the few times I wrecked, it literally had my foot still hooked to the board. And took off wide open while I was falling. So both times I wrecked, I did a full split. <laughs> like the board shot away with my foot, spinning the tire. It'll smoke the tire like a burnout. Spinning the tire, dragging my foot away from my body. And so I wrecked. I wrecked a couple times. I got eight on my thumb pretty good there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see that angle, I guess. Any angle, really. Eh. Ate up my thumb pretty good. My nephew crashed behind the office. Um, but Liam's wanted one of these forever too. So I mean, if Liam can learn how to ride it, I don't mind buying him a nicer one or even, uh, I think, I think they got payments on that. Hell, even $200 was, <laughs> was a lot of money for me. I'm not, I'm not wealthy. I'm not, uh, I'm not one of the, uh, cocaine lines or the Phil Godlewski's of the world. So even $200 was like, I don't know. It's kind of a gamble for me. Uh, but I, I'll find him a nicer one. Even if I got to, I think they do, um, they do financing. To where you can make monthly payments on it for zero percent interest. I'll probably do something like that. Um, I'll probably do something like that if Liam learns how to ride it to get him a new one for his birthday or for Christmas or something. And a full set of pads. I'm going to buy. I'm definitely getting a helmet. It just goes too fast to not. I don't care. I've already got one traumatic brain injury. The last thing I want is another one. So I am going to get a helmet and at least wrist guard so I don't break my wrist. But like Liam is going to have, uh, you know, like elbow pads, knee pads, everything. Um, how do you ride with no legs? I'd use my stumps. They, they work. <laughs> they work. The stumps set off the sensors. Uh, I actually found one of the only helmets. It looks goofy, uh, but I really don't care. Uh, one of the only helmets 
is called a, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Um, one of the only helmets that's actually work. Uh, that's actually, um, recommended for, um, where's it at here? Uh, recommended for like electric vehicles. So like one wheels and scooters and they have these, uh, electric unicycles now that go like 50 miles an hour. Those things are insane. They're even fast. They have more power and they're faster than a one wheel. If I had unlimited money, I would just go buy the, they've got ones that on the website, like the new, uh, is it the S series? It does like 25 miles an hour. It goes 25 miles. That thing's insane. But, um, let me show you the helmet. What's cool about this helmet company is they're actually rated for um, electric vehicles. And they, if you crash, uh, if you crash and damage the helmet or whatever, they replace it for free. So it's expensive. It's got an LED built into it. I'll probably get this one. Isn't there one in OD green? I'll probably get that one. Uh, maybe I'll get bright orange. Who knows? But it's got a it's got a headlight and a tail light built into the helmet, <laughs> which looks goofy as hell. But I can't take another traumatic brain injury. I just showed it to you. This is it. This is the, literally it. Uh, this is the one that I bought with paint spilled on it, and I just cleaned it up some just a minute ago. And I'm gonna take it and try to teach Liam to ride it tomorrow. It is so much fun. It's kind of like if you've ever been snowboarding. It feels exactly like snowboarding. The same strain on your knees and your joints and stuff where you don't do it all the time. And the way, like, it kind of, like, when you go to turn, because the wheel's, I guess, so big, and you let a little air out of it, so it's kind of, the wheels. The wheel is your only suspension. There is no suspension, so you want it kind of mushy. When you go to turn, it's kind of like turning in, like, some slush. While you're, It looks just like snowboarding. Um... But we we basically got it down now. We can ride it. We can go forward. We can stop, and we can get off of it. So now I got to go teach Liam and get him all padded up <laughs> and ride it. It's pretty cool. Um, ended up getting it for a uh, two hundred is the lowest the guy said he'd take. I gave him two fifty because I felt bad. I felt like I was stealing it. So there you go. Um, I bought a one wheel. Uh, I still plan on building one. What I might actually do is take this, like, um, this framework, once I get used to this, uh, get this framework, uh, like these rails, and the batteries are down underneath the foot pads, the batteries and the uh, engine management, battery management. I might just upgrade this one. Uh, come bring all new stuff and upgrade it, maybe. What's the matter with your AC? Like your house AC or like your car AC? But anyways, 250 bucks. I, I, I don't think you can beat that. And like I said, it's got this this guy didn't even know there was an app for it. But I got the app and logged in. It's only got 250 miles, which is considered low mileage. Anything under 500 miles is considered low. Because there's people with like five and 6,000 miles on them. Could you imagine riding 5,000 miles on an electric skateboard? That's a long ways to ride. Apartment AC, oh no. Jousting poles, they're called one wheel. Um, one wheel. I would like to have their, their, their like top of the line one is $3,200. $3,200. That's insane. $3,200. Me and Mariah were looking at, um, you know how we were joking with like Phil and Hawaii and going on vacation and shit. We were looking at, um, we were just joking and talking and we're like, I wonder how much it would be to go to Hawaii um, which they, they used to have, I don't know if they still do. They used to have an MWR hotel there, uh, for like the military and veterans and shit. And just flights out there are like $2,000, just flights out there, like $2,000. I'm 35, so I shouldn't be on it either. Plus I'm a bigger guy. If you've ever heard Nick Alvear talk about me. Well, wait till get home. She gonna be like, damn, shit, my God. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now you can buy Liam his one, Will. Thanks, Will, for keeping us. I didn't see it all. Thank you very much. That was a large donation. I appreciate it. That was 46 packs. Yeah, it's like 200 bucks. That's hell yeah. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Um, thanks, Will, for keeping us informed. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. But, like, uh, just a flight to Hawaii is like $2,000. Like, that's insane. That's usually what we spend on, like, a, a cheap vacation. You know what I mean? One flight... And then trying to take me, uh, Mariah, 
both kids, so that's eight thousand dollars. Plus, we'd we'd probably take somebody with us. That way, like we have the boys part of the time, or if we want to go out by ourselves or whatever. So now you're talking ten thousand dollars just to get people there, just to get people there. That that's insane. Um, I was on the list to stay at they so they do the the military hotel. Um. The military hotel in, um, it's it's MWR Morale Welfare and Recreation Program. They do it on, um, they do it uh, based on rank when you're in the military. So like if you're a private, so there's a huge waiting list, right? And they you have to get on the waiting list. If you're a private, you might only pay you know fifty dollars or not. But if you're like a colonel, like a full bird colonel, you might have to pay two hundred dollars a night because you make more, right? So they do it that way. That way they can actually keep up with it. But these things are really fun. I, I do think I'll ride it quite a bit. I think Liam will probably catch on really quick, so I end up having to buy him one. And then maybe it's something we can do together. I would not put Ollie on it. Like if he wants to get older, it's just too dangerous right now. When he gets older and gets a little bit better balance, I don't mind letting him try uh, or whatever. But this is. Jesus Christ, it it is it is dangerous. Actually, there's a YouTube video that just come out the other day, and it's called One Wheel, uh, The Most Dangerous Something Something uh, Ever. Let me see if it's still here. The Next Level, Homemade, Do It Yourself, Buying a One Wheel. Somebody just did a video. I think I watched it, so let me go to my history. And it was talking about all the injuries and shit associated with it. Like, it was pretty insane. Uh, I've watched a lot of one mill videos, so you have to... I've been looking at buying one for forever. Like, probably two years I've wanted one or wanted to build one because it would be cheaper. Um, one wheel versus... Uh, why does it crash like that? Here's here's what it looks like when you take a nosedive on one. So, the one have wheel... Seen a one when you're going too one fast... When you're going too fast and you're like the batteries are getting too hot or you're overexerting the motor, you're leaning forward. It it it's, it'll it'll vibrate like it'll use the motor to vibrate your feet and it'll lift you up. If you ignore that, then this happens. This is how it works. Take a one wheel and put a new or inexperienced rider on it. Have the new rider get comfortable really quick. This comfort leads to overconfidence, which results in speeds higher than the one wheel can handle. The one wheel will warn you that you're dangerously close to impending doom. With Watch, push the back. nose will lift Raising up. Raising the nose of the board in a last See, lift up, to slow you down. And he's ignoring it. Back, and so he happens. pushes it back down. Glad push back. Ooh, careful. You good? Then it just Have goes seen nose a down. Nose so it's trying to tell you like, hey, you're going too fast. The motor will fail. Um, the motor will fail. Just stop. Okay. Stop. And if you if you um if you keep ignoring it, then uh it just nose dives. But at least it tells you, like, I'm not I'm not gonna ignore it. Like I, I'm fucking kind of terrified of of it. So I'm not going to ignore it when it does it, you know, obviously you need to slow down. You're going too fast stuff right here. You're going to have many wonderful memories. Right? Here's that. I totally this is the, uh, I, I can't, I can't wait watch to it. Test the Adam Savage. <laughs> Boom. So his board did the same thing. It, if you watch him, if you watch him, watch the nose will lift up. And I don't know why people are like, fuck that. I want to go faster. Wonderful memories riding this thing. I totally watch. Feel, and he I, lifted I can't, up. I can't he looked down. He pushes it down. Nose dive. One wheel, it tipped forward, and I went fly. And the Casey, nice I step. hit the ground. I knew immediately. Broken collarbones. That it was broken. You probably know. I did tear my ACL. I, I was on the one wheel when it happened. Oh shit! I was on the treadmill a couple days ago, and damn near ran through the thing. Like I wasn't paying attention. I drank some water and I was I was going I was going pretty fast for me. Um but I was going pretty fast. Like I was actually in a run. Like a lot of I, I walk and jog and alternate and run just do different things. Uh but anyways, I was like in a run and I took a drink of water and I knew I should I knew I should slow down because the thermostat's like probably this far away from the from the treadmill. So I can reach over and like if I'm getting hot, I'll drop it. And make the and make it go down, right? So I get the air conditioner to kick on. And I was in a run. 
I don't know, probably probably above five miles an hour. Because usually I jog from like four to five. So I, was, I whatever, faster than five miles an hour, I just keep going up until it feels right. I don't know how fast I was going. But when I went to reach over to the thermostat, when I went to reach over to the thermostat, I stepped on the treadmill between like where the treadmill, the tread turns and like where the edge is. And when my step hit solid ground instead of the treadmill going backwards, it caught and it it threw me <laughs> it threw me into the controls and shit of the treadmill so hard like the treadmill went like wham and then back down. So after I hit that, after I ran into like the control panel of the treadmill, I basically knocked myself down. Uh, I couldn't stand up. Like I it like tried my legs tried to go under like the controls and my my upper body went back. I fell on my ass and I fell on my ass and like the the like my lower back like kind of at like a weird angle and it shot me off into my trash can, <laughs> which sits on the uh, about three feet away behind the treadmill. Good times. How would you like to die today, mother? No, it's not a real death threat, sir. So these are all the people that are getting injured on them. There are a lot of injuries. His lung collapsed and shoulder dislocated. You see that? A lot of broken ribs, a lot of collarbones, a lot of wrists. That's why I'm, I got to get some wrist guards. I fell twice today. And the first time, just being stupid, I tried to catch myself like you're not supposed to do with my hands. Uh, at least the second time, I remembered just to fall. If if you're if you're not used to falling, like if you've never skateboarded or like rode a bike in, in a way that is prone to like jumps and, and half pops or or like something like that, you never, ever, 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 ever try to catch yourself with your hands. There's so much momentum coming down from your from your body, especially if you're in a standing position, your body being thrown forward, and all of that's like a big lever on your hands. And it like literally I've seen people's wrist bone or arm bones come out the bottom of their wrist. It is so bad. Uh, but today, being an idiot, the first thing I did when I fell was try to catch myself because I didn't feel like I was falling that fast. The second time, I just I just pulled my arms back and tucked and took it, but I still got my thumb. Uh, but yeah, if you're if you're going to do that, or you think you're going to do that, they make gloves that basically have a piece of steel that comes up in your palm. It sits right here and goes down your wrist and keeps you from from breaking your wrist. Hopefully. <laughs> I used to, when I was in high school, I was, I was obsessed with like BMX bikes and extreme sports and stuff. And like, I never did anything like professionally, but we've got like off-road courses we'd go to. I rode a GRCC, which is like, um, it's cross country, uh, dirt box. I rode that when I was young. Like I did a bunch of sports like that, raced and, and rode BMX, raced go-karts for a while. Um, but now I'm old, fat, and that slow. That is a $50 go-kart tire that has a self-cooling 750 watt-hour hub motor in its wheel. And it is connected to this CNC machine aluminum pressure sensor. This thing doesn't require a remote controller like the other electric skateboards. You simply step on it and you lean wherever you want to go and it goes there. That's why one wheelers. So one of the cool parts is that it doesn't require a remote control. One of the dangerous parts is it doesn't require a remote control. Because on a remote control, if you started to, if you got in a bad spot where you were going to fall, you could drop the remote, like have a dead man switch or whatever, right? And it goes to zero. On this, it doesn't know you're falling. So if the foot sensors are connected and it tilts this way, like when you're falling, it speeds up in that direction. It's called riding this, floating. Yeah, I, I got hilarious it. Considering the, how helmet, much it the helmet's expensive. It's like 130 bucks. But it's it covers the temples, it covers the back uh, lobes or whatever. It's like a it's a, it's a decent helmet. It's rated for crashes on electric uh, vehicles. So there there's a there's much cheaper helmets. I mean, I could go buy a bicycle helmet for like thirty bucks at Walmart, but. I want a good helmet. I already have a traumatic brain injury. I don't need another so, one. After a while writing this, the XR stands for extra radical, and it comes in this box. Inside the box, we're greeted with all. It stands for extreme or uh, extra range, not extra radical. <laughs> Anyways, he goes over why are so many people are wrecking, and it's that nosedive sensation, right? Like, does this machine come with mud? So, you believe it or not, there are literally hundreds of different tires you can get for it. That's one big argument you see online in all these groups. 
are like, oh, I, I like this street tread and this trail tread. And Hoosier makes tires that look like racing slicks. There's like tons of tires for it. But the biggest issue is this nosedive, this pushback that people want to push through. Either one, they're like, oh, fuck it. It's still good. I'll, I'll slow down a little bit or something. Or two, they I guess they don't realize that they're getting pushback. Um, because when the nose lifts up, you got to slow down. That way, you'll see the nose go up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh! And if I speed up, go that way, you'll see the nose go up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He just leaned too far forward. He didn't actually get pushed back. But if you like, if you watch one of these videos, like, I don't know why people would push through this. There's no such thing as training wheels for it. Hey, Christian here with One Wheel, and today we're going to be talking about pushback. Pushback is a warning to the rider. So you're approaching the limits of the board. By the way, this is a huge, 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 super dedicated group of people that buy these things. So, like, if you say something bad about One Wheel Online, they will come after you. You need to lean back and slow down. So make sure you understand it before riding. During the pushback warning, the nose of the board will lift. Watch. The rider to shift See the how back. it automatically lifted the front up? That's telling you, hey batteries are exhausted too hot engines overheated something they're telling you that you're getting to a dangerous level with the board okay you're getting to a dangerous level with the board now if you ignore that and push down even further that it's going to just cut off at you at full speed which should cause a speed, nosedive and the speed you experience that will change depending on your digital shaping set it's important to note that other factors such as tire pressure rider weight battery level and incline are equally as important and when you experience pushback you will also receive a pushback warning if the board detects any situation in which you need to slow down and get off for example you will get pushback if your board is running out of battery or if you're going downhill on a full charge and you experience an overcharged situation if the strength of pushback keeps increasing so it charges when you're braking so if you're going downhill on a full charge you could overcharge the batteries that's another thing um I just, people ignore, maybe they don't know. I don't know why people ignore it. I don't know why people push through it. I don't know. Day 10 was truly a breakthrough. No more wobbles. And I'll tell you how I was able to overcome my leg wobbles and foot fatigue. Before I get into that, I'll tell you that this day started off as a disappointment. I tried to go to Waterton Canyon, which is one of my favorite uh, parks to bike and to hunt. You know there's a dog on TikTok that rides this. It actually has a next, an extra warning now in it uh, that it's haptic feedback. So... It actually it uses weights or magnets or something in the motor to vibrate, too. So not only does it lift, it vibrates, too. Why I was denied access by my window. I would have down below. Fortunately, I found a hospital place for beginners to ride in Chesapeake State Park, which is really there. The roads are smooth, nicely paved. I want to see how I got rid of the wobble. Because I had the park calls myself. I just, my legs still wobble. But you'll see towards the end of the video that I'll get the hang of it. I found that by shifting my weight ever so slightly, I was able to uh, get a nice little carve motion. That, that actually led to a lot less foot fatigue than I had ever experienced before in my own legs. And so that got me thinking, why would the carving decrease my foot fatigue? And I think the reason is because when you carve, you're just constantly switching between different muscle groups in the legs. To get okay, the that, that makes sense. Muscles. And I felt... Going good. back and forth using different muscles instead of just trying to stand on it straight. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, either way, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, if you're interested in it, check them out. Uh, I don't know if you can afford one. Hell, I can't. I just happened to catch the craziest deal in the world uh, for it, I believe. And I still want to build one uh, and mod modify one, something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I hope to get to the point where I can ride it with my phone and I'm going to make some videos from it. Uh, Nick needs one of these to run from Phil, to run from the server. You can't catch me. I haven't been served. Did you have you? I haven't been served. You got to serve me on your one wheel. <laughs> uh, there's another company that actually makes a better version of this in my opinion called float wheel but because future motion has all the patents and copyrights and shit they won't let them sell them in the u.s so the way you have to buy them is through a russian website i know this sounds sketch as hell floatwheel.ru you have to go to a Russian website. You have to order it. It's cheaper. It's fit, it's sixteen hundred dollars instead of it's half the price, but it's better than the top of the line uh, one wheel. It's sixteen hundred dollars. So you have to go to this Russian website, floatwheels.ru. You click on it. You hit buy now over here. You can't see it's behind the chat, right? In the color you want or whatever. You buy it. Te you tell them you want to buy it and send a submission. Then they contact you through email and you have to buy 
USDC Polygon cryptocurrency, and you have to pay them in crypto. Doesn't that sound sketch as fuck? <laughs> it sounds like I'm doing a drug deal with a hitman. What is going on here? So you, it's all because Future Motion says that they're violating their patents and they're trying to shut them down. So they're not allowed to operate in the U.S. They get, uh, they keep shutting down their websites, shutting down their hosting, shutting down their payment processors. So this one, in my opinion, is actually better than the one with the. This is the top of the line float wheel. It is better in my opinion, than the top of the line one wheel and half the price. It goes faster. It goes up uh, better grades. Like you can do up to a 32% grade. Uh, it holds more weight. It's got more range. It's infinitely more um, repairable and customizable. So a lot of people hate one wheel and future motion now because they don't, ha they don't do right to repair. Basically, if your board breaks and you do anything to it, or modify it in any way. They won't honor any warranty. They won't help you with it. And let's say, like, your battery is bad because you rode it so much, and you put, like, a knockoff battery in it. If you have issues with your board and call them, they won't even help you troubleshoot it. If they know that you changed the battery out to, like, a knockoff battery, they won't even help you. They just hang up on you and tell them, sorry, that's not, you know, it's not our equipment. So a lot of people are mad at them, and that's how float wheel kind of popped up. But I don't know if I want to order through a Russian website with crypto, wait 45 days for it to be sh shipped from Atsuko's homeland of China, have it come through customs. Who's to say that one wheel won't go to customs and say, hey, they're violating our patent. We, you, you know, you got to confiscate it and then get it shipped here. That seems pretty sketch. I don't know. Especially like the crypto and the Russian part. I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, we didn't get a chance to talk about this the other day, uh, which I thought was interesting. You remember how everybody was like, I can't believe Will would ever, ever make fun of a mentally handicapped gentleman just living his life down in Mobile, Alabama. What a horrible person would make fun of this Scott Rogers. You remember all that? All that stupid shit? Well... Uh, now they're going to have to go after Tom Segura and Your Mom's House podcast because. Is there any females that are single, don't have any boyfriend or anything in Mobile, Alabama? I'm single, never been married, never had kids. Well, I can't have kids, but uh, female single women in Mobile needs a date. Is that farting? Oh, man. Is he I don't know farting what that as he's doing is. this? Because <laughs> if you put out farts during your I'm single thing, it's it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a bold move. Well, it's Mobile, Alabama. See, clearly he's not farting in the video. I, whoever clips the videos all the time add fart noises to them because they're seven. I mean, the Mobile is not as... No, he's a, he's a catch for Mobile, Alabama. Don't you think? <laughs> No. I've only been to Birmingham. I think you're having some people yelling at their phones not, right now. Not impressed. Okay. Can Here we, we give them a plug at least? Maybe if you are in Mobile and you're sad and you like farts, <laughs> you're considering going on a date with... The Wheel Scott Wadges. That's how the handle's written? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With W's. The Wheel Scott Wadges. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's putting out there. Because he's hey, self-aware. Hey, ladies, do you want to go with the with the wheel, Scott Wadges? But he's aware. He's self-aware. Okay. He knows right. what he sounds like. I admire that. I'll, I'll say this. I hope you do. I really do hope you get a date. I hope there's somebody in Mobile that's like, I want to meet the wheel one. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. You think they're gonna? You think they're gonna go after Tom Segura and his wife on your mom's podcast or your mom's basement podcast? That would be crazy, huh? No, just me? Just me because you don't like me and you were looking for anything to talk shit about? Oh, okay. Okay, I understand now. I understand where you're coming from. Fucking idiots. I heard there was a Scott Rogers meltdown. You want to go look for it? I've been told, which I've been told crazier things before. Um... Let me see here. Show topics. There it is. Show topics. 
and I heard there was a, a big Scott Rogers meltdown. That would be so good. <laughs> I love his meltdowns. I love when Scott Rogers melts down. It makes me feel good inside. Scotty, way too hotty. Little meltdown. Little meltdown. Here we go. Today I made, we're going to share the left side of my building. Ah. Uh, left side, because um, I got a character. He's going to, he's going to shave the left side of his face because for a character. Oh, the Garth Brooks serial killer stuff. Yeah, they, they actually harassed Garth Brooks pretty hardcore online. Uh, to the point where he's addressed it a couple times. Gosh, there he is. Uh oh. Two chops and a Ric Flair. Woo! Hey, Lisa. I gotta, I gotta keep inviting people. Just comb it. You watch, Thanks, any, you watch any college basketball, Scotty? Huh? You watch any college basketball over the weekend? No. I hear you. No. To I love are you about ready? Yeah, give me a little bit. I'm still inviting people. I only got eleven people in here. Eleven? Tap the screen, share the love. I got one oh nine. Yeah, I know. You always have Tap the screen, of... guys. Tap the screen. Share the love out. Yes, taps and shares. That's right, Scotty. Tap that screen. When the balance starts, tap like crazy. Hey Whitney. Yes. Now you got your belt. Let the people see your amazing belt. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Coming good. Uh, either I got my uh, PayPal in my bio. People start PayPal in my bio. I got my pay got PayPal it. in my bio, Greg. They basically, your mom's podcast and their fans started a rumor that, so basically Tom was making fun of Garth Brooks one time, and there's like some really weird clips of Garth Brooks out there that he acted like a serial killer. And then the joke was, like, somebody should look that up. Like, all the tour dates he's been at and, is, you know, has anybody been murdered while he's on tour in that town? Well, they started looking it up, and of course, like, he's been on tour so many places to so many big towns. Of course, there's going to be, like, days that he was in a certain town that someone was murdered on. So then they started basically attributing it to Garth Brooks. Uh, and then people are like, I know it was you. Uh, you killed my Aunt Susan. And then they'll start sharing obituaries and shit or news articles and harassing Garth Brooks in the comments claiming that he's he's a serial killer. Let's go. Good morning. Thank you, Michael. Let me share it out to one more person. And then we'll rock and roll. Uh, as much as you can send. Let's roll. Right. As much as you, how much do you need? Oh, as God, much as you can bell. send. How much do you need on your secret, uh, on your PayPal link? As much as you've got. All of it. <laughs> That's it. There we go. Hey, Michael. I've got to paint my one wheel. Yeah. Guys, the, Scotty's got our belt. the fender cover looks hey, ridiculous. Guys, everybody tap the trees. What's he doing? Let's get this done, guys. Power tap, guys. Power tap. We did not let him get our belt again. We love it, guys. Tap the trees. Yeah. Oh, I got pa I'm going to pause my live. Uh, got to figure out something. Tap the trees. Tap the trees. He's got the daggone belt. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Michael. Yes! We're doing it! God, the belt could be ours. Oh, he had to pause and figure out something. It. Hey, the outlaw. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Carlos, for the time. He's trying to figure he out where that donation was sent to him yeah. or not. I bet. Tap that screen. Thank you, OG Punk. We share. Thank you, Michael. We've got to get speed. We've got to get a speed challenge. We almost have 100. Scotty, what the hell are you doing over there? Somebody's name Queef Thank Queen. Is that one of you guys? Uh, the Queef Queen? It's the warm-up game, Scotty. Queef. You what? Thank you, Mama. He said Queef. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> yes. He Let's it. get it done. Who's he has a shirt on, but no pants. It's over there on your side. Mics. It's working. We almost thank you, Michael. Queef Queen. Thank you, Michael. Let's get this done, guys. Thank you, Michael. Everybody's saying they're going to Kermit. Oh, that belt. belt's coming home. That belt is coming back home. Everybody's saying they're going to Kermit because he paused his live. Oh my God. <laughs> people here. Let's go. Oh my God, here let's, get this, let's keep the belt, guys. Let's keep it. Oh, no. Oh, sir. I right, can already guys, see him getting done. mad. What do we need? 60 points. <laughs> forget it, Scotty. What do you mean, forget hey, it? Hey, Kenny. Melvin. Thank you, Melvin. 
Get the doubles. Get the doubles. J Man. Thank you, Mama. Good morning, Dustin. Remember that time when they were supposed to be battling and people are donating to the people they're like? And he's like, hey, Comet, when this is over, since you got money, when this is over, can you send me half of it? <laughs> yes, thank you, Mama. My thank favorites when he gets sure. mad. It just takes so, he doesn't get mad as often as he used to. So it takes so much content watching just to see him Halfway get mad. There. We need a donut, thank you, Hunter. We need a donut. We need th six donuts, guys, or a hand haul, guys. Let's get this done. Guys, we need a donut for the doubles. Somebody with a donut. Oh, my God. Melvin, Mama, thank you. Guys, crush him on the doubles. Drop him on his head. Everything's double. Thank you, G-Man. That belt's coming home, baby. Thank you, G-Man. Thank you, Trump. Crush him on the doubles. Doubles, 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 doubles. Scotty might as well go to work. Kermit got you all day. <laughs> In second, thank you, trust. Get him. Oh Smoke God. off screen. Next game, Scotty will be oh, no. His cigarette's thank showing. Yes. Now to get him restricted. Thank you, trust. Thank you, G-Man. Yes. You're done for, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, at least Kermit does something, right? Like, I don't understand. That. Like, I understand. I know it's weird coming from me because people donate just for me, like, making jokes and laughing like i don't do a whole lot here i mean i do research sometimes but a lot of times we're just laughing and pointing at somebody and watching something on the internet and then people donate to it but at least i'm trying to make people laugh like when we when we just set when someone just sets in front of the screen and says send me more money than the other person i don't understand it Damn. You're done for. Come on, guys. Show the live out. No, sir. We take game one. We need to clinch Give it. me more money than the one. frog guy because. Let's get this done, guys. Just keep the belt. Because no, I said Hello. I'm here. Hello. Hello. Eric. <laughs> He's got no shot. I mean, you don't know that I might have it. What the fuck? I accidentally clicked off of it. Damn it. That was my bad, guys. I'll put it back where it was. I'm an Ooh, idiot. Today I'm Doubles, 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 doubles. Ten seconds, thank you, trust. Oh, my gosh. Next game, Scotty will be able to talk. Thank you, Mama. Yes. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, trust. Thank you, G-Man. Yes. You're done for. Oh, he's getting upset already. You're done for. Come on, guys. Show the live out. No, oh, sir. We take game one. We need to clinch it. Thank you, trust the one. Thank you. Let's get this done, guys. Just keep the belt. No, sir. What Hello. Hello. Home. Eric. <laughs> He's got a nice shot. squat. I got him you squat. don't know I might have a shot. Give a follow. I will give you a shout out. Go give the equals an instant follow, guys. Lucky, thank you for the follow. Live. Thank you. Live inspired. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew, for the follow. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Drop it Super fly. Are you in here? I want to see Drop a big meltdown. Thank you, crack. Let me get a shout out to my MVP, Mama Moody, the G Man. It does Michael, seem like he's getting Jordan, aggravated. He just Russell, lost. Uh, from Rod Snow. <laughs> and the Tappers. One and nothing. Melvin. Thank you, Melvin. He's always messing with something off Scotty, screen. Fixing my uh, speaker. Oh my God, Brandon. Zip it, Scotty. We just got a couch potato. Thank you, Brandon. No talking. Thank you, Brandon. That was incredible. <laughs> Sleep. This is incredible. Uh, Scott can't talk is the way they're Scott playing it. Speed challenge. Here we go. Here we go. We got the doubles. Oh my God. Oh and they my got God. doubles Yo, again. Sir. Good morning, buddy. Papa Smurf. Welcome in, guys. We need 10 points. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Yeah. Let's see here. Shelter. Shelter, thank you. Somebody says, Shelter. put the Blue Ranger helmet on. I'm about to snop Kermit, so I'm going to donate if you become oh, the Blue Ranger. Crush him. <laughs> let's see if he puts it on. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see if they donate or not. Because that'll really piss them off. He's done. We're crushing him. Yeah. Thank you, Seltzer. AK fan. Thank you. Sock. They said sock. He's done. I hope you invite people out. You're getting the shoot. His helmet don't fit right. Guys, one minute. He's got no team. They're all asleep. Thank you, Seltzer. MVP Seltzer. Boom. Hey, Bama girl. Scotty's team, they're, they're just going to give us the belt today. He's up by 2,000. Like Just going to give us the belt today, Scotty. The belt is just something they do. They have a WWE wrestling belt, and whoever won the uh, out of, best out of five or something, they claim that they have the belt for the day. 
What's up, dude? What? Zip it. Was not. I think your team the bell today. Thank you, G-Man. It was this. Two to nothing. It's about to be two to nothing. You've had that belt long enough, Scotty. Thank you, Seltzer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you, Bobby. Mm-hmm, What's up, mm-hmm. guys? Yep, his team is done. What's They're he not doing? even there. We're destroyed. He looks like he was taking a shit. About to explode. Yeehaw! Guys, watch out for the snipe. They're not sniping this. There's no way. One. It said. It says Kermit roasting Scott. Let's see what that is. Yeehaw! Um, Guys, watch out for the snipe. They're not sniping this. There's no way. He has no snipers back to the When, when he tries 11. to calm him down and you can't. Oh, oh that's crazy. They want us to have a snipe, Scotty. I'm telling you. He's got no smoke. That's right. His he poop fingers. It sounds like there's an avalanche in his room. Two, one. Boom. Clinch game two. Let me give a shout out to my MVP. Seltzer, thank you so much. Pop the smoke. Melvin, Audrey, get the tapper. All right, here we go. Hey, Hazy, Seth, and Tappos, go get those. Two to nothing, baby. Two to nothing. Snipers all activating. Snipers are Audrey, come over and say hi. Could you come over and say hi, Audrey? Snipers are triple activated for us. Dog TV, thank you. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Put that thing away. Put that thing away. Scotty! You're getting sleepy. I'm not gonna You're up. getting sleepy. Get it. Get it. G Man! God damn it. No more quiet game. The quiet game is over. Why? Because I'm gonna hypnotize you and your goddamn team won't let me. Well, you can't have that fun. <laughs> These are rules that Scott made up, by the way. There's none of these rules built into TikTok. These, I was hypnotizing you, and they won't let me because now i got to be quiet, mouse. <laughs> no, no, no. Quiet game is no more. Oh, no. we always. I'm trying to make your side and my side laugh. I know, man. And oh, no. Oh. Quiet game is no more. I'm Did you guys see it right there? Hold on. Hold on, this is uh, the Tom Segura special right here. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this glistening drop of drool run down his face. No more quiet game. The quiet game is over. Why? Because I'm going to hypnotize you, and your goddamn team won't let me. Well, you can't help that, Scotty. No, no, no. Quiet game is no more. Oh, no. We always. I'm trying to make your side and my side laugh. I know. Ah, He doesn't even notice it anymore. He's a, he's a human water fountain. If you feel bad for Scotty, I could understand why you might feel bad for Scotty. Uh, but Scotty has sent nudes uh, to people's wives, uh, unsolicited nudes to minors. Um, he has scammed a couple different charities. Scotty knows a thousand percent what Scotty's doing. Um, there is no need to feel sorry for him because he doesn't feel sorry for all the people that he scams. No, quiet game is no more. I'm canceling the quiet game. No, you can't do that. Yes, I am. Scotty. No, no, Scotty. No, I'm hypnotizing you. I feel bad for no, Kermit. You're not. I'm yes, winning. I am. I'm, I'm winning. I don't care. I'm hypnotizing you. I'm not looking. Come and look. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm ending my life. Stop it. Oh, no, more drool. Control. Stop it. No, you're out of control. I don't want to be hypnotized. I'm going to. Johnny, stop it. No. Now he's got to play along. He's got to play along with his giant man child. He's not supposed to be talking. Sleepy. Your head is getting heavy. You're falling asleep any minute. When you wake up, you act like a cow. Ooh. Ooh. Now he's got to play along Ooh. with him. Scotty, what have you done to me? I've never seen a 40-year-old act like this. Yeah. None of us have. Stop the hypnotizing. You're losing. You can't talk. Stop it. And sleep. When you wake up, you will act crazy. Now, you have to play along with him or he'll report you for uh, for picking on him and get your account banned. Ah! Quit hypnotizing me. This is ridiculous. 
and sleep. Stop it, no! When you wake up, you would say something nice about your people. I love our people. You're supposed to be quiet. I'm, no, I told you, I'm canceling. We are not canceling that. We're we canceling or I'm ending. Okay, if that's what you want to do, I'll find somebody else to battle. We no, we oh, God. Oh, you can't say that. You can't say I'll find somebody else to battle. I just seen him the other day. I thought he was MC. I didn't know uh, what he did. Yeah, so, like, he has, he his basically, he's a crack baby. He does have a disorder, but it has nothing to do with his mental capacity. It has to do with, like, his bone structure and stuff. That's why he's got, like, a big hump on his shoulder or whatever. Um, he's basically a crack baby, but he plays every bit of it to his advantage. So a lot of times people will be like, oh, my God, Will's such a piece of shit. Make fun of this guy who just, no, he won't work. He yells and screams and cusses out his dad. Uh, he makes his dad, the only person that's taking care of him, his life a fucking nightmare. He tries to control every woman that'll even speak to him, including asking them for nudes as soon as he meets them, sending them unsolicited nudes, uh, hopping on voice chats just to show him his dick and stuff, like disgusting stuff. He ended up sending some nudes to some minors, and he has ran at least two charity scams where he says he's raising money for a charity or he's raising money to pay rent or this, that, and the other, and he's just taking it and buying toys. He knows exactly what he's doing, and it's just blatantly obvious to most people. So all the good people that tried to help him, that tried to be there for him, that tried to, like, get him out of, you know, uh, the poverty that he's in, he's even had, he had a person make a job for him helping to count things that were stocked at a gas station, and they were going to pay him $15 an hour, let him work as many or as little hours as he wanted, show up when he wants, leave when he wants, if he just helped count while they were stocking the uh, gas station three days a week, and he told him that he's an influencer and he doesn't, he's not taking a fucking job. Uh, he was arrested for stealing a couple times. Um, he's, he's a horrible person, to be honest with you. Like, even if he does have, it's mostly a speech impediment, and... He uses it to his advantage, and if you don't play along with him, he reports you as picking on him, and he's disabled and gets your shit banned. I, don't, I really don't like the quiet game because my people want to hear me talk. You can do this on the on the warm-up or the other one. Hey, Julian, the cool down. Quiet game. You no. The cool down. You always play by the rules. Now you're not. <laughs> well, before uh, I just thought I was starting, the, I was doing that. I can't help it. I can't help it. Your team. No, nah, your team sucks. We're winning. Oh, no, more drill. Team sucks. They won't they, let me have some Jesus fun. Jesus Christ. Our team's kicking butt. Our, team, our team's kicking butt. Boo your team. We're winning. You can't even talk. You've got 30 points. Uh, tonight I'll be at work, Grizz, or I would. No, that's another thing. He he used his advantage, Suzanne. So when he sent nudes to minors, he's like, oh, it was an accident. He just says it's an accident. And because so many people see him and the way he acts and the way he talks, he gets away with basically everything. The only reason that people eventually leave his life are because he's done it so many times. Like, he'll get away with it 30 or 40 times saying it was an accident. I didn't know. You know who I, how I am. Uh, I, I, he's told people before, like, I'm not responsible for what I do when I get upset or excited or angry. But eventually he wears people down and they're like, ah, fuck, I'm out of here. Right. And deletes his accounts. He usually apologizes and deletes his accounts. Well, I want to have some fun, and your team won't fucking That's let me. Thing. You cannot break rules, Scotty. He's also got a very famous uh, pornographic home movie he made with another man. And clearly, he knows this guy's a man. Like, I don't want to be in graphic detail, but he's, like, touching the other man's genitalia, right? There's no confusing that this is a man. He is stroking the other man's genitalia. Then, when that gets brought up, because it's on Reddit, you can go watch it. When that gets brought up, he tries to lie and say the guy lured him down there and he thought he was a woman the whole time until until he got back home and they told him he was a man. Like, that, that that's not how that happens, right? I've never thought I was stroking the dick of a woman. Like, that's not how it happens, Scott. You know this. You always, play, always play the quiet game. And you I honestly, like, not even... I know everybody's making a joke. Like, I feel bad for Kermit. I feel bad for Landlord. I really do feel bad for his dad. He really... He's really, really mean to his dad, which is his only caretaker. Shitty. We're going to talk... I'll show you a video of another person 
who maybe I'm maybe I'm a psychopath, but this other person pisses me off so bad. I'll show you in a minute when we're done with this one. You know it. Yeah. Well, now they'll not let me have some fun. Well, he's got to control what? everything, and if if you. As soon as he gets real mad, like he's not even really mad right now. As soon as he gets real mad, he's he's talked before about how he thinks he might be gay, which is completely fine. But when he gets real mad, he starts calling everybody else the F slur, uh, starts telling them to go fuck their go fuck their dad, go fuck your dad mom. He like flips out on people. That's how we've always done it. God. If I just want before in between those, I would like to have some fun. They will not fucking let me. I can't help you. pussies. Your team is getting destroyed. Fucking ass pussies. Don't let me have any fucking fun. All they do is turn you up, and then you can talk. No, no. I just thought when I could talk. I'm saying they will not let me have any fun. As long as they don't put 500 points, you can hypnotize me. Boom! Let me give a shout out to the G Man Junior. They're going to do it again for sure. Three to nothing, Scotty. As long as you don't have 500. TV. Go get those. Tap. You can talk, Scotty, as long as they don't drop 500. So the rules they've set up is. Any, everybody can talk until the first 500 points. Somebody gets 500 points. Then who's ever in the lead gets to talk, and the other person has to be quiet. Uh, they, uh, I've been trying to talk, but no. Snipers are activated. Snipers are double activated. Now if you can have fun until I get 500 points. No. No, not that again. You're getting sleepy. Oh, okay. God, the <laughs> they did it to him again. Ah! <laughs> With the galaxy, yes. No, no, next game, nobody sends them gifts until I have some fun. Scotty, nah, we are having fun. Now zip it. Not my kind of fun. I was trying to have some fun, making me laugh. I but know. No, you're making. So earlier, it was like I need to make the audience laugh, so they're so they're um, entertained. Now he's like, I was making me laugh, and you can't do that because I was making me laugh. Ooh. I know you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. <laughs> You're good. I like to have some. No, 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 no. Next you. round, n next round, your team holds the gifts until I have some. For some reason, on my chat extension, like, see that uh, the the emotes load really slow. Uh, the little faces, it takes forever for them to load. Fun. You are having fun. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm well, not. You got 18 points. I'm not having fun. I want to have some fucking fun, and your goddamn side won't let. Oh, Scotty, the language. There's kids. That's it. If your team was fucking you up, you can win. Hey, Milton. We're only up by galaxy. We are only up ahead by galaxy. That's it. <laughs> your head, you're gonna pop. Your head's gonna pop off. Good. No, not good. Stop it. Yeah, good. Stop it. Okay. Well, your team needs to let me have some fucking fun. Your team's not existent. Where is your team? No, your team does not let me have some fucking fun. Which hurts my fucking feelings. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but oh. That's right. Why he really pouts? He wants people to send him money. You're getting sleepy. Uh, no. You're getting sleepy. Your head is getting heavy. Oh. Time you'll fall asleep. When you wake up, you would act like a cat. Meow, meow, Scotty, we're winning. Zip it. Thank God we're winning. <laughs> we're barely winning. We got an outlaw in there. Fucking me. Golly, God's got the screen. We're barely winning. You need to be more concerned about the championship belt. We win this. We're barely ahead. We win this. It's four to nothing. Thank you, Melvin. The quiet game, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you know He's so He's mad, Justin. dude. He's seething. He's coming back. He also claims because he doesn't want her to take responsibility for his actions when he's mad. He claims he has this altern alt alternative uh, person that lives inside of him, right? And um, that this person is named Max, and it and Max can do say docs, um, share your nudes online. What he thinks is people's nudes, they're not really. Uh, send nudes, harass people, dox their address and their phone numbers. He can do all that without any consequences because it's not Scott. It's a different guy named Max that lives inside of him. He's coming back. Do not let him win. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The G-Man. Yes. The baby freaking dragon. Yes. Motherfucker. The G-Man. It's us, G-Man. Dip it. He can't talk, guys. If you want to hear Scotty talk, you got to turn him up on his side. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Back. We are taking our belt back today. He's so Look mad. He's close. Fuck they can snipe. Man. I don't think I don't think the outlaws got the sniping power. That's not Leroy Jenkins. Got to win the game yeah. or that belt comes to us. Nobody's letting Scott have fun. Yes, he is upset, guys. There, he's gonna relax. We always play the quiet game. He was trying to hypnotize me to make you guys laugh. But, oh no, they're turning him up. Oh my gosh, guys, they're gonna snipe. They're gonna snipe. Oh my gosh, no, guys, watch out for the snipe. Twenty-five seconds, guys, they're gonna snipe. I know it. Scotty is still yet to win a game. I don't know where his snipers are. Thank you, Michael. Oh my God, the G Man with the freaking galaxy. Yes. Thank you, G Man. God, he's so mad. He's One, seething. Zero. Boom. Four to nothing. Shout out to my M freaking team. Thank you so much, MVP. The G Man, you got a boosting glove. I Nailed heard you got another it. car wreck, Scott. Oh, the outlaw. Tapos. Go skip those. Guys, Let's Rangers take nothing. smoke breaks. Right, this, out. this round. Hold your gifts until I have some fun. They I'll won't. Just don't ball. be silly. You Hold it? your gifts. Nobody gives them until I have some fun. The they're going to do it instantly. No. Of course they're going to do it instantly. Why wouldn't they? You they get too good of a reaction. Stop it. Sleepy. I would do it immediately. Right now. No. Any minute you'll go to sleep. When you wake up, you act like a dog. <laughs> what just happened? Stop <laughs> acting like a dog, Scotty. Stop and it. sleep. When you wake up, you please act donate. Like a can. Stop him. Stop him. I can't, I can't wait. believe you. He's donate. Like playing the quiet game. I wish I'd have right, been there. I'd have so done it mad. every round. Oh my gosh. Yeah, somebody sent a, a freaking hand. A no, I'm having some fun. No one sends anything. I'm having some fun. Oh my god. No, sleep. When you wake he has up, to play you along with like, this. He has to play along with this 40 year old man, or the guy will get mad and quit. The Terminator. Give me your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Scotty, why am I acting like Arnold? Why more like and sleep. Ah! <laughs> when you wake up, you are act like a Power Ranger. Thank you, thank you, G-Man. I don't know how a Power Ranger acts. That's your moves. Two more roses, Two more roses. Sleep. Two more. Thank you, Caleb. Mr. Galaxy's here. Oh, no. We God damn it. <laughs> He's about, you're getting mad already. Oh my God. Let, when you wake up, you'll act like Mr. Biggs. Who's Mr. Big? DJ Galaxy. Scotty, I just got a, a warning on your side. I did too. You gotta stop being so mean. <laughs> DJ Galaxy, thanks for the taps. Got 500 points by game. Thank you. Get him. Get this I and wish so they would have stopped him right I, immediately. He'd have been so. When you wake up. Kermit does have a racket, right? He just got to keep Scott calm enough to not get banned, and he gets to rake in all this money because people want to donate against Scott. We're at, like the Thundercats. A lot of people have called that out. Scotty, quit hypnotizing me. 500 points. And Scotty. Nobody wants to be hit me. Frozzy with the galaxy. Done, Scott. Done. Funny. You're they done, Scott. Damn time. it. God damn it. G man. He's so mad. Look you at him. Focus Always on, interrupting. You need to focus on your championship belt. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. That No, you're trying to hypnotize me. That's, that's how I'm focused. That's not focused. <laughs> that's how I focus. I hypnotize people to focus on the championship belt you need to stick to the base that's why I'm, you're not hearing me you're i hypnotize you to get my points up your karate yes it's not working game. that's right that's what everybody likes to see scotty god damn it quiet game that's what we always do i love this haircut this is probably the best haircut i've seen in a while <laughs> you can make noises he can make noises. That's it. If the, his team wants him to talk, they'll turn him up. He's got 77 points. Somebody said, eat your cigarette. I'll donate. Thank I promise. News. We're about to shut you out. There you go. That a boy. Deep breath. DJ freaking down. Deep cigarette After the breath. Cool down. I'm going to call you. That's fine. I don't care. So he's going to call him and cuss him. That's what he always does. He calls and cusses the person out for not doing it right. Please do. Wait, thank you. 30 seconds. You're very grumpy today. I think you had too much coffee. No, it's not the coffee. I'll let I'll tell you on the phone. I know what you're gonna say. 20 seconds. And I need the belt back. 
Yeah, Call please. him Scott. Give him a piece of your mind. He's being mean. <laughs> Four, three, two. Oh, my God, no. They just sniped. He just sniped. Oh, they did win one. They actually oh did win God, one. no. Now he's oh, going to be Scott, happy for a minute. Watch. Outlaw, you got a boosting glove. Seth, you got a boosting glove. Tapos, go skip those. Let me give a shout out to my main man, the G-Man. He DJ just won Gallows one. Audrey and the Tappers, four to one, Scotty. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. You need to focus. Do your Power Ranger moves. That's what you're good at. Yeah, I'm good at a lot of things. Yes, you are. You need to I'm good at a lot of things. Yeah, you, you are. are. <laughs> Guys, tap the screen. 500 point quiet game. Oh my gosh, no. Guys, tap the screen. Make him be quiet. No, make him be quiet. No way. Thank you, G Man. Oh no. They just got a boosting glove. Oh no. Hit the boosting glove, guys. No. I don't know what a boosting glove Hit is. The boosting glove. Oh my gosh. No. They're not using Let's the glove. Let's get this boosting glove that. They're not, they not using the glove the right way. Oh, thank you, Chris. 500 point quiet game. Or he can talk. He's got sniper. He goes on longer, so Scott must win another no. one. I'm assuming. No, that belt is ours. There you go. Tickle me. That always cheers you up. Gosh, I hate it. Tap the screen. Tap, that. tap that screen. Give me that arm. Give me that arm. Ah, quit trying to grab my arm. Oh, we need to give me those nuts. No, stop it. What? There you go. Take me. That always cheers you up. Gosh, I hate it. Tap the screen. Tap, on. tap that screen. Give me that one. Ah, quit trying to grab my arm. He's, you're reaching the wrong way, Scott. He's over here. Oh, we need to give me those nuts. No, stop it. Oh, God, thank you for the taps. Oh, no. We're not getting speed. Oh, my God. No speed. Give me that head. Ah, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. That's what Mariah Thank says you. when I come well, home well, at night. I apologize, comment. Thank you. Oh, now he wants to. This is his MO, right? He treats you however the fuck he wants because when he apologizes, you have to forgive him for everything. You can't hold a grudge. You can't say you shouldn't have done that. You can never bring it up again. It's over. Buddy, I know you're Forever. trying to be funny, but we got to stick to the basics, you know? Yeah, it's just, I like to have fun, you know? Hey, but the quiet game is something we always do. I know. You got, you got so upset. That's because I was trying to have fun, and they would not let me. I know, but I wonder how many times Nick Alvear said that. Give me those nuts. You got beautiful eyes. Now give me that sperm. It's about the quiet game. You can <laughs> the up in the last game, you can have fun. Hey, Alex. Guys, somebody make him I'm about to tell you, Dylan, here's a shout out. Somebody make him zip it. Thank you, Chris. Guys, they could snipe again. He's got snipers over there. Oh, my gosh. I can't pop it. I can't have kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, they're going to snipe. Willie. His dad had him fixed. What's up, Willie? How are you, buddy? At the vat. Thank it's you, okay. Man. I do want kids, but I can't. He won the last one, guys. It's four to one. Oh, Bill did one said we're going to eat frog legs. Oh, gosh, no. Guys, we need a sniper. We got to win just one game. I hear you, Willie. Yeah, I hear that. Guys, we got one minute, five seconds. Robin and Pavel. They're going to try to snipe. <laughs> snipe, guys. Snipe. No, watch out for the snipe. Get 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 yes, they, oh, my gosh. The G-Man with the freaking perfect beats. Thank you, G-Man. Now zip it, Scotty. We win this. The belt is ours. Zip Watch it, out for the Scotty. Sky. He's got sniper. Yeah, I can't believe they oh make money gosh, for please. this either. I hope you caught it's, him. I don't know. Guys, watch out for the snipe, please. We cannot let Scotty back into this. The G-Man with the freaking meteor shower. Oh, my God. Thank you, G-Man. No way they're sniping this. No way. We want our belt back. Thank God, Willie. Snoot. Give me the belt. Boom. Yes. Thank you, Scotty. Grab it. Thank you, Chris. The freaking G man, I love you. Audrey, thank you, Chris. And it apparently froze now up. Have I guess. fun, Scotty. The cool down. I'll be right back. Don't be upset, buddy. Let me just say it. No, it's my eye. Okay. Oh, now he's having a medical emergency. It's, 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 it's not been a. It might be your allergy. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. 
All right. You just going to take tappers? We are not even starting. You are not sent it. Oh, no, I won that game. I just gave my shot out. Oh, tappers. Thanks. Go skip this. This is Lee. How? See how? See what my what my, my allergy is doing with my brain? Yeah, it's got your brain all messed up. You're being on. You're being like a no. I, I don't know what's going on. A demon or something. Thank you so much. God damn it! Oh my God. There's only one way to get cool. Stop digging hard, man. Gonna be okay. Or no? head. Yes, Jake. His allergies mess with a banding brain. gun. That's right. Banded him. He got cooled down. He's acting like a demon of some sort. <sighs> Scott's a yeah, demon. Last game, let's, let, let's keep this coffee. Uh, Damn. Uh, that, Scotty. Cold water. Try not to itch it. Thank you, Chris. Oh, he's got pink eye from his poop holy fingers. Holy water must be nearby. Yes. That man needs some holy water. <laughs> Guys, tap the screen. Scotty, you got to say a prayer for saying all this. Imagine getting paid money for literally doing nothing but sitting in front of your phone and complaining about it. Please. GDs, that's the worst. Hey, Brent, that's the worst curse word ever. I, I always do it in my head. Thank you, Scotty. Each time I say it, that's what I do. Good, yeah, buddy. You just got a lot of anger this morning. Yeah. Guys, we've got to get a speed challenge. I think I had a, a dream that I got angry. God, please don't get angry. I took it out on your team, and I'm sorry to your team. Thank you, Scotty. You guys <laughs> hear that? Any, any dream he has comes to real life. Ah, oh, God damn it. I'm, I, I did it again. That's okay. We'll jump back ahead where we were just at. Today I made. We're gonna see the left. The last game they're on. Let's get those. And he's holding something over his eye. That's what I do. Okay. He's got a lot of anger this morning. Yeah. Guys, we got to get. A uh, not much, but they do it all day. So they don't. They. Uh, I mean, some people on TikTok are making tens of thousands of dollars, but it's kind of a scam. Like these big TikTok live streamers will come in and donate a thousand dollars. But they expect you when they go live, you have to go to their live and donate it back to them. So it's kind of a scam on the the big ones. Like they keep each other at the top because that's the people who make the actual money. But I mean, he might make a couple hundred dollars and does it all day. Um, but still, it's nothing, right? What are we paying for? Like I understand people right now are paying to see him get upset. But if if they weren't doing that, what are you paying for? Just to look at somebody that's not. He's not showing anything. He's not doing anything. He's not talking about anything. He's just sitting there saying, send me more money than the other guy. Be challenge. I think I had a, a dream that I got angry. God, please don't get angry. I took it out on your team, and I'm sorry to your team. Thank you, Scotty. You guys hear that? He's sorry. We need three roses. Three need roses. two more, guys. Come on. I don't know if he freaks out anymore roses. or not, but I got another guy to show you, too. We need two more roses, Chad. That makes me so mad. Yes. I can't. Thank you, really. I can't control it, dude. Guys. I get two more so people. mad. Nine seconds. We got the doubles. Maybe. Thank you, Keith. I love you too, guys. One more rose. Two seconds. Oh, we missed it. We did too. Oh man, we missed it. We did too. Damn. Thank you, Willie. Thank you. What Audrey. is the chat saying? They forgive you. Apologies. Including Audrey. Audrey said she forgives you. They have to say it, or he'll get mad and quit. Well, I mean, what my dream was about. Uh, one of he earlier he said I think I had a dream maybe I had a dream now he knows exactly what it was about that made him so ma angry. My uh, bullies were like can't find found me and bullied me again. <laughs> oh, you went out. Bull my bullies found me and started bullying me again. I, I bet that's the bullying. What did to that bully? No, I broke every bone in his body. Oh my gosh, Willie and Jake—they said they don't forgive you, but everybody else did. <laughs> One minute twenty-seven seconds. Guys, watch out for the snipe. And come on, I think we should uh, mix it. Yeah, when he was walking around you know? doing shit, that was better than nothing, right? It's an attempt. You know? what, what do you mean? And it's not I'll just Scotty. Know. Like some people, like some people will battle each other, and they got it set up with their buddy where they wear all Trump stuff, and the other person wears all Biden stuff. And they're like, if you like Biden, you got to donate here. If you like Trump, we got to you got to donate for either Trump or Biden. And they just sit there and rake in money all day. When I call you, okay. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna hop off live yet. You know? Yeah. Whenever you just I'll send me a text when you're off live. I, I don't know if A's in still in here, but I'm gonna give Hall a call because we've been playing the phone tag. Yeah. How have you been, Keith? Guys, 43 seconds. Watch out for the snipe. There is a full length porn video of his on Reddit. If you search Scott Rogers Reddit, it'll come up. Thank you, Keith, for the taps. Some asshole uh, got a hold of it and started sending it to everybody that emailed him for a copy of it. 33 seconds. Crazy. Good, buddy, good. Hey, guys, watch out for the snipe. Eight seconds. Chris. 
God, he needs to blow his fucking nose, dude. Robin Pebbles. Ooh. Blow it. We got it. Congrats. And the tapas. <laughs> you have any odd drops? No way. Tammy Tapos. Tell you Come on, Tammy. If you put some odd drops in your eye, don't, don't keep scratching it. No, it's just, I didn't. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you later, okay? Uh there you go. Scott Rogers, did he shout out Pebbles in them? That's good. Did you clip it? I'm sure. Um, so this guy, look, I understand I might be a psychopath. I just need to know if this makes you all mad. Okay. I don't want you to, hold on. Let me let me turn this off. I understand that there's a there's a good chance um that I'm a psychopath. And because when I watch this video, when I watch this video, I get so mad to the point where I literally want to fight this person. And I understand they're of diminished mental capacity. I get it. And I understand it's not their fault, but it just makes me so mad I'm ready to fight. Like, I can't, I can't watch it. And not only this one, but there's more than this one. There's another one where he jerks a baby out of her hands. And she has to, like, talk him down. But this is this woman and her son, and I'll pull it up on the screen in just a second. And they're in an argument because he's severely autistic. He needs to be in a group home. He needs to be in a group home. He's severely autistic. He wants to go to Applebee's, and she won't let him. So watch this. Applebee's door. Get out of Applebee's. Like, I understand it's not right to want to fight the person that has the issues, but it just makes me so mad. Like, it makes me so mad. Like, I want to be like, this is what happens when you put your hands on people. Help me, I always get a very weird feeling. With so, this was one of them. He wants to go to Applebee's. I get it. It's not his fault. She, he needs to be in a group home or some somewhere it's better to deal with this. But I, I don't, I don't, it makes me so mad. I, I'm so fucking mad. It makes me so mad. Down. Sit down, please. Sit down. <sighs> So it's hard to tell, Jay, uh, Dr. Jay. It the stepmom and came out and said, "I'm I'm with the dad now, and she's just doing this for attention." Blah blah blah. He's not this bad. Whatever. She seems like she's she's been she's been doing this for several years, and her videos just recently went viral and got all the attention. So she was doing it for years before without any attention. So I don't think she's doing it straight up for attention. But damn. Sit down. Let's get out of here. That's why we follow the race. She's begging him to sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Does it make you guys mad? Like, okay, we, we all understand. Like, it's not his fault. But doesn't it, is it just me? I'm so mad when I see him grab hold of his mom or drag her by her hair or smack her around or hit her. Now, there are thousands of other videos where they're getting along fine. But clearly, he's big enough to where he could just beat the fuck out of her if he wanted to. I don't know exactly what time this started. But it's, um, well, whatever time to step is on this, he's still agitated. It started with the tablet not being able to uh, connect to the internet, and... There's more, um... Let go, let go, let go. You got her by the hair. And let go. So a lot of people say, like, he knows exactly what he's doing. 
Um, and it's always around him eating. Uh, John. <laughs> There's also much smaller kids in the home that he could definitely hurt really bad. Like there's one infant in the home. She so she, on March, uh, I'm sorry, on January. She finally, uh, everybody was like, put him in a home, put him in a home, put him in a home, put him in a home. He's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. He's going to have more outbursts. Put him in a home, put him in a home, put him out. And she kept saying, no, 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 no. Then in January, she said she had an appointment for March the 18th or something to uh, consult about a home. Um, now, I don't know how that appointment went or where it's supposed to go. Uh, but she was looking at finally doing it. She was crying. She was upset. Obviously, you never want to do that. It, it would be a hard decision. But he also can't be beating the shit out of it. God, it makes me so fucking mad. I know I should I know I should be mad at him. But in my head, my fucking lizard brain or whatever, like my primordial fucking thoughts are, in my head. He doesn't understand what happens when he puts hands on the wrong person, right? You know, when you're, uh, when you have a kid that's like picking on another kid, people always say, oh, he'll get the right one one day and they'll knock him on his ass. And he'll stop that. That's what I think in my head. Like somebody needs to be there to snatch him up and be like, Hey, this is what happens when we touch people. And I just don't think he's going to get that. Instead he gets, Hey, have safe hands safe hand please stop ripping handfuls of mommy's hair out we gotta have safe hands aye, aye, aye. And, and maybe i'm wrong but i don't know I, i've never been able to i've never been able to watch like a video of any woman getting hit by a man like i can't handle it now whether that whether they have the capacity to understand it or not i can't stand it it makes me so fucking mad like insanely mad and maybe it's because i'm a psycho you don't have to believe the same way i do like i know i'm crazy i get a check for it but it makes me so mad I mean, like, obviously, I couldn't work in this type of environment because I feel like I would go beyond what I was allowed to do. But Joy. Uh -huh. it, it, it bothers me so much. And I know there's there's people in our audience that work with um, severely disabled children. Like, I'm not saying that my view is right. It's probably wrong. Uh, and I don't want you to think that I'm right. I just can't help it. Like, I get, I don't know. I, there's something deep inside of me that wants to set the situation right. And I feel like uh, it's probably wrong, but I feel like I know the right way to do it. It's, it's probably not. But. I also feel like, um, I also feel really bad for the other children. Uh, it seems like this is a full-time plus job and there's infants and there's a five-year-old and there's a, uh, you know, an eight-year-old and, and it doesn't seem like they're getting the attention because of god damn that makes let go let that makes go. me so mad let go anyway she's been getting a lot of heat uh over it and she tries to address it most of the time um there's just a there's just a lot going on in this house, and I obviously I can't handle it. Um, she's a better person than I am. I, I'll say that much for sure. Um, because I I would have like there's some videos where he's like um, 
she's like, I just let my guard down. It's my fault. I shouldn't have done this. Or I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been paying attention to, you know, the shirt. I was trying to show off the shirt I was wearing and he comes up and attacks her from behind. Um, like, it's almost like he, he waits till she's not paying attention. And I, I know he probably can't control it, but damn. Ah, it, it makes me so mad. Step by step breakdown of what's happening in the video. So here, Cash is not able to verbalize exactly what he wants except for car keys. And I'm not able to figure out exactly what does car keys mean in this moment. He's telling me he's sorry by letting me kiss his forehead. I told him he asked. This is something that we learned in ABA to have a safe hands and a calm body. The car key. Are you hungry? Now. Where do you want them to go? So I asked him where he wants to go so that I can differentiate if he's bored or if he's hungry because car keys mean either or. So I just couldn't do it. A list of places not to increase his agitation, but to narrow. I just I couldn't. Like, even, even if I'm not his parent, let's say I was just friends with the mother and I was over, I don't think I could stop myself. I don't think I could. Like, I'm, I'm so mad right now. If it was happening in front of me, I felt like jumping up a second ago. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think I could stop myself. Especially when she, like, sometimes she's really calm about it, but when she screams out, I, j I can't. I can't do it. I can't handle it. Um, maybe maybe it's, it's just me. Maybe maybe that's why I'm not blessed with the patience or whatever it takes to do this. There's no goddamn way. There's no way. One of them is because his tablet goes dead, and he flips the fuck out. Here's here's one of them. I think. Cash, can you say hello? Say hi. <laughs> So, I'm going to put my makeup on real quick. Um, I also feel like if I lived I, in that house, I loved it. the way he acts and the way it's almost like he's looking to sneak up on it, there's no way I could ever turn my back on him. There's no way I could sit. Like, the way she's sitting right now, camera or not, there's no way I could sit in that position. This shirt, guys. Okay. Got this in the TikTok shop. They're on low stock, so go grab yours now. Cash. I think Cash is wanting to go somewhere. But I just wanted to show this to you. So, I'm going to stand up real quick. Look. So, the other day I wore it with leggings. I wear a tank top underneath it, but you don't have to. It's nice and long. And uh, for those of us moms who have like an apron pouch from our babies, it covers that really well. So. Gosh. <laughs> And this is it. That was just him taking the phone and shit. There's another one of her in the living room. Uh, that's pretty bad. Well, there's a couple of her in the living room. Uh, plus, he like, I guess he stays, he's got insomnia, so he stays up all night screaming and wandering the house and throwing shit at her. Sit down, please. Sit down. <sighs> Sit down. No, no. I don't know that I could sleep at night. I don't know that I could sleep at night with him in the house. And I, that probably sounds horrible. I don't. I don't think I could. I, I think I would have to uh, like stand guard. Turn off again. <sighs> no. <laughs> Sit down. Let's get out of here. That's how we follow directions. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I don't know exactly what time this started. But it's um well, whatever time. So like. apparently, there's a claim that on on Valentine's Day, that she was she did a video late at night. She was blowing up a balloons for her kids' Valentines, and she was in a bedroom with the baby that had woken up, and she was holding it. And Cash was up too, which is the bigger kid, 
and he ends up snatching the baby away from her. And it's almost like a hostage negotiation uh, ordeal. Now, I don't know. I don't know how true that is because it's not up anymore. People say she deleted it. They could be just making that up, but there's a bunch of rumors about it um, on TikTok. And a lot of people are sharing their opinion. Uh, he's abusing her. She's abusing him. A lot of people saying he needs to be in a group home or a facility. Uh, I don't know. The stepmom that came to Reddit to talk shit about her basically said that um, he never acts like this at his dad's house. He goes to his room when when he when he has like an outburst or he's in trouble. Um, that I don't know. She was just on there talking shit, kind of. Uh, who knows if that's true or not? I don't uh, know. But not only that, she homeschools him as well. So she's with him 24 hours a day, seven days a week, except for like every other weekend he stays at his dad's house, uh, his actual dad's house. There's a stepdad involved too. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot. It makes me, I don't know that I should be mad, but it makes me so mad. It makes me so fucking mad. So mad. Like when you hear that slap and she actually screams, like, I don't think I could stop myself if I was there in person. Like, I might I, I might end up committing violence against him. And that's not right. Like, I don't think that's, I don't think that's good. But I, I don't know why I can't control that part of my brain. I don't know why I can't turn it off and be like, oh, well, he's, you know, he's he's got a different challenge that he's, he doesn't understand. I can't turn it off. I've tried telling myself before, like, he can't control it. He can't, he can't do it, but it, I just get so goddamn mad when I see it. I think this is the original video. Applebee, Applebee's store, can't have Applebee's. No, this is another one. They're in like different that. clothes. This is a different video. Like a Applebee's store. All right, no Applebee's today. You can have hot dog, pancakes, Dead. or pizza. No, we can go to Applebee's on Wednesday. Um, the Applebee's. Right. Applebee's restaurant, Wednesday. Today, hot dogs, pancakes. I, I can understand. I understand that, community. I can tell myself that. I can say he has no capacity over his own body, but I still can't help it when I see it. I want, I want to be violent. I can't help it. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe I have less empathy than regular people. I don't know. It makes me want to fight him. Applebee's store. I can't. I can't help it. I can tell myself a, a thousand times. He he's. I could tell myself there's a tiny little alien in there controlling him, and he's been. Ta it still makes me so mad. I, I can't. I don't know what to do. I can't help it. Okay. Like a Applebee store. All right. No Applebee's today. You can have hot dog, pancakes, Dead. or pizza. The Applebee's? No, we can go to Applebee's on Wednesday. Um, the Applebee's. Right. Applebee's restaurant, Wednesday. Today, hot dogs, pancakes, or pizza. Mm -hmm. Do you? Oh, no. What, which one do you want? No. No. No! Okay. No! Mm -mm. Are you oh, wrong? no! I'm almost positive my way's the wrong way, but I don't know why I can't... I don't know why I can't stop it, right? Like, I don't know why I can't put it away and be like, oh, well, you know, he's got, he's got stuff going on, right? He can't control it. I can't. I can't turn that off. I know that. I can say it. I can believe it, but I can't turn it off. Are you hungry or bored? No. Okay. Are you uh, hungry? Mm -mm, yes or no? Mm -mm. Or do you want to do something fun? No. Okay. Okay. Do you food or um, do for a walk? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Jump. Jump. Would you like to go jump? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I do remember. Uh, you remember how I told you that she had a meeting for a group home? I think 
she's on a waiting list now. Uh, but the waiting list is like incredibly wrong or incredibly long, maybe. Did I hear that wrong? I think I heard that. He's, I, th I think it's just, I think it's just his size and her size and him being male and her being female. I think it doesn't, it doesn't matter anything else. I think it's, it's a visual thing. Maybe. Cause just he, seeing how big he is and him jumping like that and her trying to be defensive and put, get her hands up. It made me mad. I don't know why it makes me so mad. Cash. No. Cash. Hey. Deep breath. Blow. Good job. Okay, we have to have safe hands. Did you? Yeah. Safe Did. hands. Ah! Get a hot dogs out. No Applebee's today. Applebee's door. Applebee's on Wednesday. D U. Mm, mm. Today we can go to the park or go for a walk. No. Okay. Here's some of the comments. I said I'm left to comment. I says maybe I'm wrong here, but I get so mad when he hits her. Someone else says I want to hug her. She looks exhausted. Someone says safety is now a concern. Girl, you're better than me. Not the Applebee's fixation. What the what the fuck happens when he gets older? Have you ever tried to save uh, the Applebee's to go bag and try taking food from home out of the bag so he thinks it's Applebee's? I work with kiddos with autism and hyperfixation is so real. You're doing great. Me watching this while waiting for my DoorDash of Applebee's laugh out loud. This is definitely more than a full time job. His size and strength has to be very scary. You are a saint. Oh my gosh, praying for you. His size surely makes it challenging. He needs to be in a home, group home now. What happens when he gets bigger and more aggressive? What are your long-term goals set in place? You look so nervous and scared. I'm so sorry. I do this for a living, but 24-7 is a different story. I ain't going to lie. I would be looking over my shoulder every second. More power to this mama. Uh, you're better than me. You handled this very well. I was genuinely scared for a moment, praying for better days. I gasped out loud. You need to get him help in a group home, in a home. Uh, how old is he? He's only getting bigger, babe. Protect yourself and him as well. Uh, when he grabs you, stay strong. Love how calming you are. Oh, my God, I couldn't do this. I cannot wrap my head around this entire situation. This broke my heart. Stay safe, mama. I don't know. Hey! I think it's my mommy, lizard brain or mommy, some shit. My... I love you. Hey, can we count to 10? One, a lot of people have made two, comments about how many videos she has. Three. Applebee's. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Even, even if he just went to like an outpatient thing and came home every day, like instead of school, like went to a thing with structure uh, and to burn off some energy maybe. Applebee's door. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, yeah. 90, 100. Applebee store. Applebee store. Yeah, have Applebee's. A lot of people have comments about it. Uh, I don't know who's right and who's wrong. A Q idiot does it for a living. Um, there's other people in, the, in my community that do it for a living. It just... I understand I'm not in the right, but God damn, I get so mad. <sighs> I'm mad right now just thinking about it. Uh, especially when he gets her by the hair or something. I'm like, oh my God, what is going... Uh, anyway, she's got a lot of haters. She's got a lot of supporters. Her name is, I think her, her name on here is like Autism Mom Life or something. Let me see if I can scroll all the way up. Autism underscore mom underscore life. Her name is Joni Marie Two T E W Two. Um, I think this is the first video I ever saw of it. Now we've come fishing as the request of cash. And no, 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 don't get in the mud. He he doesn't want to leave. Mommy, cash. We have to go, baby. Not okay. 
Oh, no. I want Pinky. What did I say? Mommy. I want Kate. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Mommy. It's time to go. Not okay. That's not okay. Mommy. We can come back tomorrow and fish. I used to work, I actually used to work at a place, but it was more almost like security. Um, it was a night shift with a guy who was uh, very violent, uh, severely disabled. And basically, we weren't supposed to sleep, but there had to be two of us. He was he was so violent, uh, they had to have two people on staff at all times just so you could help. So we would like, it was night shift, so we'd take turns kind of like falling asleep while he was asleep. Obviously, we weren't supposed to be doing stuff or whatever, but we weren't, neither one was supposed to be like asleep. And you would just wake up in the middle of a fucking fight with him. Like, he would wait until there's an opportunity. He would peek around the corner. He would plot out these attacks and just fucking leap on you like a, like a, like a fucking savage or something. Like, like somebody's never seen another human before. It was insane. His name was Chad. Our dog <laughs> and float across the pond. Mommy! Yes, baby. <laughs> Me. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to put the fishing poles away. That's come on, Cash. Mm -hmm. It's time to go. Mm -hmm. to go. Oh. Come get in the car. You need to come on. Good job. That's good. Listen, come on. Come get in the car. Great job. Come on, see. Come on, Henry Gray. Cash. Come on. Let's go for a ride. Let's come get in the car. Cash. Car. Come on, baby. It's time to go. Let's come get in the car. You can crank it up. All right. That's good listening. Good job. Bees. Applebee's. We're going to get Applebee's on Wednesday, baby, okay? Applebee's. God, him getting up like that at the very end of this video where he's laid down the seat and he starts to get up while she's driving the fuck's he going to do? What's, what's she going to do if he grabs a handful of her hair while she's going out the damn road? Baby, okay? That's terrifying. So now we've come fishing as the request of cash. Cindy Parker says she knows her. She knows her. What, she live in Louisiana or something like that? Um, I can't remember. Uh, I, think, I think the most recent video I saw of her was she was trying to get help, but she was on a big wait list. She didn't want to do it at first. Um, cause there was a video of her crying the other day saying, what am I supposed to do? The people that are, I'm um, seeking help and I can't get it. What am I supposed to do? And she was just like bawling her eyes out. I felt bad for her. I do remember seeing that video now. Anyway, she's got a lot of people that love her. A lot of people that hate her. The stepmom, oh, North Carolina. I didn't even know that. A lot of people that hate her. A lot of people that love her. The, uh, there was a Reddit post from supposedly she called herself the stepmom, even though she's not married to the biological father. But they, do, uh, they don't live together either, but they're engaged. Um, she called herself a stepmom, I guess. And she basically called this lady out and was like, she's just doing it for attention. He never acts like this at my house. And she made statements kind of responding to it. Um, this, this is a couple of weeks ago, I guess. Um, but there you go. Um, this is Autism Mom Life. And I think she started a podcast as well which seems like she has a lot of time to be doing all these things. Uh, and she, um, she's like real big in her church. I guess her husband does something in the church and she plays the piano in the church and, uh, they go to church every Sunday and they're really involved in their church. So there you go. That's, that's the video that pissed me off this week. I don't know. I mean, I probably shouldn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's probably a better way to handle this, but I don't know it. And I cannot turn off the part of my brain that says, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, I guess that's why I don't have a job doing it. I would, I would, I would not be very good at it. <laughs> I would probably be fired. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me. It was just kind of a, a night to go through some stuff. I told you about my one wheel. Uh, I'm super stoked about it. Hopefully, I'll get good enough for riding at it. I'll make some videos from it for you guys for TikTok or something like that. Just riding around talking. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, don't do anything cash would do, I guess. Thank you, guys. I'll see everybody on the next one. Have a good night. Thank you for the donations and support. I'm going to try to show Liam how to ride the one wheel tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And uh, is adding more Applebee's days a bad choice? So, yeah, so she basically talks about this, that she can't give in to him. 
Uh, she can't give in to his fixations, and she's already taken him to restaurants too many times. So uh, I'll tell you a story about Chad. Chad, the guy that I watched, was obsessed with his mother and obsessed with Subway. His mother would come see him every other Sunday and would take him to Subway. Okay, so when he had to eat something else, he can't eat at Subway every day. He can't afford it, right? When he had to eat something else, he would throw a fit because it wasn't Subway. When he thought it was Sunday and he thought his mom was coming, he would throw a fucking fit because it was really Tuesday and his mom wasn't coming. It didn't matter how many times you told him. It didn't matter how many times you changed the subject. He would fixate on food and his mom, and you could not handle him after that. Once he got fixated on something... He was stuck on it. Anything that was different that didn't uh, that didn't go to that goal, that didn't get him to Subway, that didn't get his mom there, that didn't do those things, he would fight you over and physically fight you. He was actually banned from a county here in Tennessee by a judge, told him that he needed to move and not come back to Greene County for stabbing a guy's eyes out with a uh, Phillips head screwdriver when they got him a job working in a plant. Like, that guy was insane. Um. Uh, no, we don't. We don't do vaccine stuff. <laughs> but anyways, Chad would Chad would um fixate on those two things, and he was a fucking handful, man. Um. Uh, he was. He did get busted masturbating one time to Sanford and Sons. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you back on the next one. Have a good night. Uh, love you. See you. Bye. But I can tell you this about if this douchebag happens to see this particular show, you don't have the fork and balls to call out the people on this planet. For the show, while we're offline at coldbeer.fund. Who they are and tell them the rest of the world. <laughs> you don't have the fork and balls. You don't have the balls. Okay, Scott. I don't care what you think. You're not going to say it in my chat. Shit. You can think it all you want in your chat, in your head, at your home, but you're not going to say it in my chat. You better buckle up because you ain't seen none yet. Here we go, I think I started some shit. Piss them off, it's about to get lit. Get the place in the best, you know that stage is set. You better buckle up because you ain't seen none yet. And they say that I'm a lunatic. Well, listen, bitch, I came equipped with a quick wit and a six sense for the stupid shit. Where my true believer? Y'all need Jesus. Praise the Lord, head to the extreme. All these false fucking prophets who reach out to her, Q idiot. Worshiping Um, I mean, she's always asking for help and uh, you know, support, or maybe she's not asking for help, but she's saying she's saying she needs help, right? And that she can't get it from the state she's in, or she's on a waiting list, or whatever. It's autism underscore mom underscore life on TikTok. You like how I slipped that in? Uh, dancing in the sand. Piss them off, it's about to get lit. Get the place in the best, you know that stage is set. You better fuck. She's, I, I'm, I'm almost positive I saw a video of her crying saying that she was on a waiting list. Almost positive. So. Thank you for the donation and support tonight. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, I got to get some safety gear for the one wheel so I don't show up in a couple of weeks with two broken hands. I was high on shrooms. I found myself a tunnel that led to Jason Q's bedroom. Open his closet, I found some of his meat rockets. I strapped it to my shoes and then I blew through the roof. I found myself in old... I sent her your, her telegram page. That's all I know about her. And she does have... Uh, it seems like if she's got a newborn, this kid, and like three other kids, and a podcast, how does she have time for all these videos, dude? What? I'll get my files. Wait, what are you doing? It's a, stop. On, Fucking it's a, stop. And that's a lot of people's criticism of her. I don't know her day-to-day -day life. So. Oh, give me a... Oh, my God. Damn it. Have a good night, guys. Oh, of course. The new it's always about New Jersey. Worst potholes in the country, too. And people. I said it. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. Round three. Down goes Nino. We say it is.